Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we are going to be talking about out of style luxury bags that are coming back. It is so hard to predict trends and all of that and what's going to be hot and new and fabulous and everything. But if there is one thing we know for certain, it's that trends are cyclical, right? And what was once will be again. I have got seven bags for you today that are vintage styles that I definitely having a comeback. Maybe you want to jump on a pre-loved site and get yourself a vintage one of the time or just get yourself ready for the resurgence. Hey guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Bag number one. Kicking it off with bow, 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 the Fendi Spy Bag. Born in 2005, leaning into that fact that trends come around every 20 years or something like this, right? So it's almost about time. This was a bag that we saw on so many of the like A-list celebrities at the time. We saw everybody from Gwen Stefani, the Alderson twins, Lindsay Lohan, Nikki Hilton, Sarah Jessica Parker, paparazzi with this slouchy tote swinging around in the crook of their elbow living their best life. And this came in so many different variations and fabrics, different levels of embroidery, they did exotics. It was a very slouchy bag and it's sort of this little bit roundy, little bit not shape. Good description, Cassie. Clap, clap for you. Recently, we've been seeing more celebrities carrying this vintage bag, okay? So we saw Rihanna, Queen of Style. Hers was like purple and embellished and embroidered or something. And to be honest with you, I think she took that to Target. We love one of the people. Bella Hadid was recently spotted carrying this around Tribeca, living her best spy bag life. With Fendi especially, loves a little resurgence of old bag styles like the Fendi baguette. They kind of updated that and then they brought out the 1997 baguette, which is literally the same style as in 1997, but in different variations, right? Fendi is no newcomer to reissuing bags. So I would not be surprised if they reissued the spy bag in a different way or other brands released something very similar while we're really loving the 90s and the noughties style. My spidey senses are tingling. The next one is the Balenciaga motorcycle slash city bag. It used to be called the motorcycle bag. They sort of renamed it as the city bag. There's really been a journey with this one. So this was originally launched in 2001 and it was very sort of like edgy, a little bit rock and roll, very slouchy and carefree. It sort of gave off this laissez-faire, like, I don't care attitude that everybody fell in love with. Now, this bag really had a hot run. They then sort of discontinued it, released something called the Neo Classic, which was a sort of toned down version of the city bag that was a little bit more structured. Then re-released the Neo Classic City Bag, which has the elements of the city bag that everybody loved, but with a couple of different design elements, like now there's a heart mirror, in case you ever wanted that. But then they also sort of adopted elements of the city bag in other styles, like the Kegel, which is very popular at the moment, and things like that. I definitely think that this is a bag that's sort of been on the rise again for a while, but I think it's interesting how the brand has sort of definitely lent on elements of it for different styles and the fact that they've reworked this bag in a couple of different ways I think sort of shows the fact that there's always been a love for this bag. Okay the next one the Dior Street Chic Columbus bag. This I really think has all of the elements of everything trend wise we've been interested in recently. Born in 2002, she is a shoulder bag. We've been loving a shoulder bag, we've been loving a pit moment, but I think it really integrates well with that utility vibe that also for the past three or four years, we've really been investing in with bags, with little pouches hanging off things and a little bit more of a thicker strap and stuff like that. And I think it marries the two of these trends together very well, personally. I would suggest you reissue this bag style. I think they'd have a lot of success with it. But if you need even more evidence as to why I think this style in general is coming back, have a look at Fendi's Autumn Winter 2022 show because they're doing a kind of a similar, not exact, 
but a very similar shoulder bag style. The next one is the Louis Vuitton Papillon bag. Now, this is one again that, so, oh my gosh, she's been around the block for a while. She's a 1966 girl. And it has been reworked over the years again and again in different ways, different patterns and fabrics and all of that for different collections. And usually it's not to be sort of a part of the permanent collection. It's always quite seasonal. So we saw this in the Takashi Murakami collection. A year or two ago, we saw them do a mini version of this with a thicker utility strap, utility once again, in a different way. It wasn't I mean, they called it the Papillon, but it wasn't, you know, the original sort of thing. But now with the Louis Vuitton Prefall Match Collection, the Papillon is back. Again, different seasonal variation. You've got it in the Jacquard Velvet, uh, giving us a little, little bit of a tennis court vibe there. I don't know if this is something that Louis Vuitton will launch permanently, but again, if you've got this in your cupboard, bring it back out, okay? Bring her into the light. It is a time to shine once again. The fifth bag is the Prada 1995 tote. Now this is different to the other bags I'm talking about in this video because it's not overtly trendy. It's definitely more sort of minimal clean lines. And do you want to know what? The vibe of this bag very much gives me the parent wrap English mum. I just feel like she would just absolutely kill it with this bag. Prada, once again like Fendi, is no stranger to the re-editions they have an entire re-edition line at this point and if they don't have a bag for every year i don't know what i'm going to do with myself but here we are 1995 and i thought i'd mention it because it's a very different vibe from the rest of the bags in this video let's talk bottega honestly anything with the bottega intrecciato weave bring it back out specifically a hobo bag style now a few years ago we wouldn't really be talking about bottega when we're talking about something like hot and cool and trendy it has now risen through the ranks of trending designer brands and is consistently being talked about. Now we've seen a lot of new Bottega but with a new creative director we're definitely seeing a lot more of the Intrecciato weave the original one the smaller size we've seen a lot of it sort of exaggerated bubbled out different finishes but anything with that original Intrecciato weave is very much back in the spotlight like I said, especially a hobo bag, we've seen the rise of the Jody, the mini Jody, the normal Jody. They did a lot of this style of bag years ago. And with something like the Intrecciato weave, which is so tied into the brand, you really can't go wrong. Okay, the last bag is a bag that never really went away, but just sort of faded out of our interests. Personally, I don't know, you might have already always been into this bag. This is the Stella McCartney Falabella tote. Once again, I think this slouch, a lot of the bags that we've been talking about, especially on the like larger side, it's about the slouch, it's about that relaxed vibe. The Falabella definitely has that. Uh, it's got a little bit of versatility in that you can sort of fold it down and clutch her and all of this. Range of colours, but also the element of the chain Chains are a trend that we've been seeing a lot over the last few years, definitely not slowing down. We're still seeing this woven into bags as a design element. So I think it marries those two trends very well. The other thing is that we're seeing much more vegan made luxury items and handbags. And this is the original vegan luxury bag. Stella McCartney was like the first luxury brand to be entirely vegan. So I think while people are definitely having more and more of an interest in that, I predict that the Falabella might be getting a little bit more shout. Guys, let me know what you thought of my suggestions. Obviously, there are loads of bags that, you know, are vintage styles that are coming back and everything, but these are just seven. I am going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father, if you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.